Hello everybody! We are doing today a Halloween makeup tutorial. Alright, so I have all my stuff set up here. So what you're going to need for this tutorial, I have a few things here like are extra that you don't need as much of, but it's up to you what you're going to do. So this is like a zombie, I'm going to be a zombie bride. You're going to need white face paint. So this is all, this is all like, like I said, party city, this is all party city stuff. Um, stuff from Spirit Halloween. Disclaimer, I'm not, all this stuff I bought with my money. I bought some of the stuff, kind of, I bought year, a few, like a year ago, like last year in Halloween. None of this stuff was given to me. Not sponsored video. I wish, because let me tell you, I love me some Halloween. So I have a little tiny tube of liquid latex, but I buy the big old jug of liquid latex because I always use a lot of liquid latex. Some kind of white press-on powder. It doesn't have to be white. It can actually be like two shades whiter than your skin, but I'm pretty pale as it is, so I tend to just go straight for white. I also have these two Halloween kits that come with various colors. We're going to be using the yellow, the blue, the green, the purple, the red, black, and the white. <laughs> so basically I should have just said we're not using the orange. That's the only color I don't really use. We're also going to need toilet paper or a tissue paper. I have a pint of blood, like regular va um, vampire blood. They do have black zombie blood. I don't use it because I want, I want red blood on like certain areas of my face and on my body. So I just use this one. I did this year buy zombie blood. And then I also have um, scabby blood. I mean, bloody scab. Hmm, <laughs> mm, smells like nothing. And then I have black lipstick. You're also gonna need brushes you don't, you like don't love. <laughs> so I have these three brushes right here. And then for any bigger areas, I'm actually gonna use the stippling brush because I don't use the stippling brush ever. This is from icing, it's like, it's all broken and stuff, so I don't really care about it that much. I have this little tiny palette with three colors. It's also from LA Colors. It's uh, white, gray, and black. We're going to be contouring with this. Something I forgot to mention that you're going to need are sponges. You're going to want for the liquid latex, because I have this bowl, I don't know if you guys remember, this is the bowl from dyeing my hair. I have this bowl from when I dyed my hair. This I'm going to put the liquid latex in, and I'm going to use one of these sponges that I don't care about and use that to dab it on for when I go to dab it on my face. And let's begin! I started. Hello? I'm doing a makeup tutorial for Halloween. All right, so at this point, you guys want to stipple on basically the white face paint all over your faces. I have fast forwarded a little bit to a part because it's it's just the same thing over again. You're just tapping on the white uh, all over your face. Uh, you're gonna see later on. I'm gonna be doing it to the extended amount to an extended amount of my body. You and anyway, if you see me talking to somebody, it's my boyfriend. <laughs> All right, so now I'm grabbing the black sh eyeshadow. I'm going to put it on my eyes. You want to get a reference picture, some kind of zombie picture uh, from The Walking Dead. Anything that you can use as a reference. I use a lot of YouTube, other YouTube videos. You can use this YouTube video as your reference, whatever you'd like. So I'm basically contouring my nose to make it look thinner. And I'm filling in my eyes all around black. You're going to see that later on, I'm, I am going to make that contouring a little bit softer. It's a little harsh right now, but you do want to keep the eyes dark. So the face paint is a little white, but you want to keep the eyes dark. So now I'm, that's where I'm blending out the black. Too harsh for my taste, at least. You can keep it as you like. You can contour as much or as little as you like or to what you feel is your expert level. And now I'm contouring the cheeks. By contouring the cheeks, you get this very narrow, hasn't been fed in a while effect. So you're going to contour your cheeks, your nose, under your jaw, anywhere would you, oh, you're going to get a big fluffy brush to do it. Anywhere where you're, we would usually put your contour to make your face warm. You're going to put it to make your face seem lifeless or like if you haven't eaten in like four months. I don't know. I don't know what somebody who hasn't eaten in four months looks like. Thank you. 
I'm also blending out a little bit of the tip of the nose. I went way too overboard with the, with the contouring on the tip of the nose and on the sides. All right, so now we're going to grab uh, some purple like face paint, like party city paint. Uh, you can use eyeshadow, whatever you have at your disposal, anything purple. And now a little bit of black. We're going to go over it because I went a little bit overboard with the purple. Like I said, this is a, this is all a test run. You, you, you do whatever you feel is going to make you look how you want to be at the end because i chose a the wounds are a little bit fresher but the zombie looks a bit dead it's up to you so now i'm getting a little bit green because if you look at like pictures of things that are decomposing or pictures of like infections they have kind of like yellow and green hues and tints in there so that's what you want to aim for but like i said all up to you what you want to do this is this video is just to give you a reference and kind of a little starter to what it is you can do but it's up to you how you want to look at the end. I'm getting a little bit of black as well and mixing it in with the green because the green is a little bright for my liking. They do sell individual packs, which I had and I just didn't use because I totally forgot. Individual packs of like darker green colors or if you have a dark green eyeshadow, something like that, you can mix it in there with, with it. So now we're getting some black, blue, and purple and we're going to start i'm sorry about the mirror you guys like the mirror is really in the way but that's my only way of seeing it and i didn't realize that it was so much in the way until like later on <laughs> but we're gonna put that on the inner of our lip and then kind of the co contouring effect that we do to make bigger lips we're gonna do it but since it's so dark it's not gonna give us that bigger lip effect it's just gonna make us look like we're rotting from the inside which is more or less what we're aiming for with this look now adding a little bit of green to the eyes and a little bit of red. You want to blend everything out evenly. You don't want any harsh lines. You can be as messy as you like. You're a zombie. So get as creative and messy as you like. Just, you know, no harsh line, nothing too perfect. You want to go outside the borders. You want to go all out with it. We're going to get a little bit of blue and purple and red and we're going to start creating veins very thin faint veins all over your face you put as many you don't have to do this part this is totally optional i just think it adds a little bit something to the look but um you can put as many as you like as little as you like anywhere you like in any kind of sequence and then you also want to once you've done the veins you want to smudge it out with your finger or with a little brush or something like that because you don't want any harsh lines you just kind of want the faint idea of a vein there because you're you're very pale from being a zombie you don't have any flesh color to you and then you're basically transparent so you can see your veins that are slowly rotting on the inside So now I'm putting the rest of the makeup all over my body. So this all depends on how much what your outfit's going to be. I'm be wearing a wedding dress. So my outfit uh, is not strapless, but I do have a lot of shoulders and my arms out and my back out. So I just did the front of my chest. So to give you an example, I am wearing a shirt, by the way. Now we're going to grab the lit liquid, la lit liquid latex and you're going to put it on the area where you think your bite is going to be at. So that is where I decided to have my bite. I used to do it a lot more only in the face and neck, but you want to do it in a place where there's not going to be a lot of movement because it can fall off after some time. So as soon as we put the latex down, we're going to rip up some tissue paper and put the ragged edges towards the outside, any straight lines on the inside because we want to make it look, you know, dirty and like you just got bit so once you put the layer of toilet paper down or tissue paper a very thin layer you're gonna add a second layer of liquid latex and then we're gonna have that dry halfway it's just easier with a blow dryer so this liquid liquid latex for some reason it turned yellow i hated it 
but we make it work we work what we got so after it dried about halfway I added on one more tiny layer small layer of tissue paper and then some more liquid latex And then I decided to add some liquid latex around my face. Be careful not to get it in, my hair, in your hair. I got it in my hair a little bit and it hurt when I was taking it off. Trust me. So we used the, the tissue paper. I mean the liquid latex to create like bumps and places that can ooze and things like that. And then we're going to color it. All the any areas that we use with liquid latex. We're going to cover it with white. So obviously the ones that I did my face I should have done first before I did my makeup. But I didn't and... You know, like I said, work what we got. It didn't come out bad in my opinion. It actually, I think it was better than any other time I've ever done it, like at first. So now we're going to get some red, green, and purple. And we're going to add those to the, the small areas of liquid latex that we had done without the tissue paper. Because what I did was that I passed my finger over and I ripped it open so it looks like an open, a small open wound. And now we're just kind of blending it out and feeling where those areas are and then we're going to make them a little bit more pronounced of where the actual holes are by going in with a smaller brush and really hitting those edges of the holes and now i'm doing the same thing just with a sponge on my face you just basically pack on the colors you do whatever you feel is right depending on how you want it to look And now I'm adding a little bit more veins to my chest and then I blended them out. The same thing that I did with my chest, I did on my face and I cut it open a little bit. Be very careful because I mean that was right next to my lips. So you got to be very careful with cutting it. So I cut it a little open to create the bite idea. And then now I'm just coloring it in. Starting off with red, going then with black to make it look like a deeper cut. And then purples, browns. Um, I didn't have any browns in this kit, so but you can use it. And then I, so I was just using purple, red, black and then some green and yellow you want to blend it out around the edges very well because you don't want there to be a distinction between what's the latex and what's your face so you just blend it out let it go over like i said it doesn't have to be very specific it's supposed to be messy because you're a zombie you're dying you're not on fleek And now I'm grabbing some of that bloody scab and putting it right inside the wound and a little bit over the lip area. Uh, you can use this with regular blood, like, oh my god, that sounds terrible. With like the regular vampire blood, doesn't have to be the scabby one. It's just, it makes it look gooier if you do that. Now we're doing the same thing to my chest. We're cutting that little area open. Like I said, be very careful. If if you're a male and you have chest hair, be very careful with the liquid latex. It will rip off your hair, like waxing. It hurts too. So now we're just opening up the wound a little bit and now we're going to color it in. So this time I started off with black because I actually had decided that black looks a little bit better and it's a little bit deeper, like makes it look like it's a deeper cut and like if it's rot like rotting from the inside a little bit better. And now we're coloring it around the outside with the mix of purple and red and a little bit of blue and black. Now I'm going around the cut and I'm putting my tiny brushes around any areas that don't look like they've been colored. see like right there like when that flap opens you want to color all those areas because if anything happens where you somebody's looking at you from a different angle you don't want it to look very different just look weird you want everything to blend in perfectly fine like if it just if it belongs there you know casually bitten and it just belongs there you're just rotting rotting zombie and it's just the way you were supposed to be your whole life that's what we got to pretend all right and right here i'm just adding a little bit more of that contouring effect to my collarbone Okay, so I'm trying to film this quick because my camera is running out of battery. It ran out of battery while I was finishing up. And then I charged it just real quick so I can show you guys what the finished result is. This right here really goes like this. It folded down because I tried on the dress that I was going to wear. <laughs> and as a tip for you guys, I would put a little bit less white. Um, again, this is something that I used only Party City makeup and that's what I wanted 
to aim for. I didn't want to use any other makeup because I know there's better brands up there that can give you better results. But I just wanted to use somebody that, you know, something that people have at their disposal the easiest. And I added Scabby Blood to the injuries or whatever and then I added zombie blood which is that black blood that I showed you at the beginning that I had the little tiny tube of so now for my dress if I were to do it you would cover I would cover the rest of my arms along with my back which doesn't have any makeup at the moment I would cover the rest of my back with my arms and probably add some blood on my arms maybe some cuts something like that with the same technique that I used to create the bites don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what videos you guys want to watch below mm. <laughs> Yeah, that was... You don't panic. <laughs>